Good afternoon and welcome to London. Uh, this is Dan from Nerd OD and I am here for another Japanese band gig. I'm going to all the gigs so you don't have to. Uh, yet again, I'm in London for band mate. And look who's here with me. Mr. Oh, Bullock, Mr. Bullock love himself. You're four. Yeah, I'm four as well. This this guy, this guy's oh, four. this guy's the enabler. He's my he's my <laughs> in, the ima Did enabler. I say that? Um, the first time I didn't buy tickets and he generously volunteered one of his spare tickets. I did pay him for it, so it's okay. Um, second time I got my own ticket, didn't I? Yeah. I think. And third time. This time I nearly didn't come until about a week ago and then was like, ah, I've got the day off, let's just go. So, anywho. Now, while we're here for Bandmaid, we're also, we're actually at the minute down by, uh, is that, is it London Bridge, is that Tower Bridge? That's Tower Bridge, right? There's Towers, yeah? Towers, okay. So we're by Tower Bridge because uh, Yoshiki of the legendary Japanese group X Japan is apparently down here. It's nearly 2.30, he's doing a Nico Nico Live, which is like Japanese YouTube. Um, and he's playing piano and stuff, so we're gonna go and try and find him. Um, and then be on the Japanese internet, isn't that exciting? <laughs> Japanese internet, like it's, like it's different to our internet. Yeah, there's borders to the internet. Right, anywho, <laughs> let's go. I, uh, I see a big group of people ahead. I can only imagine that is that is it. This is this is definitely it. Definitely. He's late. He's in, he's in a he's in a taxi somewhere. He's, uh, he's supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Honestly, these rock stars. Twice now we've been asked what's going on. I don't know what's going on. No, and I've just said, oh, there's a Japanese musician in it. And they've gone, oh right, never mind. I mean, it's not Oli Murs. I know that was last time. Insert Oli Murs clip. Yeah, it's Oli Murs. Look at him, there he is, hugging people. I don't know whether you can see him, anyway. Right, he's not going to get there till 3.30, so we are leaving and coming back later. All this waiting in the sun for our Japanese rock royalties made me thirsty. So we just disappeared off. We have a drink now. And we're also in a very quiet area. So I, uh, I want to ask you, yeah. Andy, this is your fourth band-made show, right? Yeah. They've played five times, haven't they? Because they played MCM. Yeah, it doesn't. Which is quenta. Well, no, it doesn't. Right. Now, the reason I nearly didn't come to this show is because they were here seven, eight months ago? November. 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 Yeah, so yeah. Se seven months ago. Which isn't very long. Like sometimes you wait like half a decade for a, a, a foreign band to come and play in the UK. So for them to come four times, what well, five technically in the last what four years? So I worry, right, that there's not hmm. enough new stuff because there isn't any. I mean, they've got I think from five new songs. If you count Glory not already being out by the time the studio was yes. out. Yes, so last show, seven Glory, songs. which is the OP or the ED, I forget, for Yu Gi Oh! Reigns. Yeah, so seven songs, because you have. But they played that last time. Glory, but they Bubble. didn't play Bubble, right? No. Bubble hadn't been I officially released the yet. Yeah. Then On Set, which is the instrumental. Yes, that so really that's, they played that at some live and shows in Japan, the right? Two acoustics. Um, an anime? Do you see, say that? Now, that's what I want to see. Obviously, we've had Band Maiko as well, like the April Fool's joke that has become a proper thing now. My issue is that I don't think there's enough new songs to make this that new an experience, unless oh. they bring the acoustic set, which they've done at some other Japanese shows. Yeah. Well, shortly, this guy is going to be disappearing off because he, uh, he stomped for VIP again. Which, yes, I normally do, but this was very last minute, as I said. So he gets to touch their hands. Again. <laughs> and get a sign, signed uh, poster that you didn't witness them signing. Again. Uh, but not, not take any photos. Again. But also, it means you get to get close to the front. Although you don't want to get to the front, you want to be in the acoustic sweet spot. Yeah, because that would be death. <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to be able to find you pretty easily. First of all, you're like 17 foot. Um, and secondly, I'm just going to buy two pints. Uh, and sort of go, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, until I can join you on the third third row in the middle, right? Yep. Okay, so, right. So, anywho, it's nearly 3.30, we're back at the Yoshiki crowd. I see them getting a little tent out ready, so uh, I think let's have a look what's going on. I mean like Michael Jackson's case? Yeah, well no, more like a famous person hiding in plain sight. Fair enough. The thing that I'm interested in is, let's say they put the piano like there, all these people in the bars and restaurants are going to get a free show and they're going to be like, what the heck's happening? Why are all these crazy people 
watch it and then play the piano. That's his hair and go. Whoa, oh. that's why. That is good hair. The piano's moving. Oh my god. Look at this meme. Follow that piano. Makes sense. They want power bridge in the background. So it's like freaking English. We are. Yes! <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna go and join the game of PQ now. Say bye, everyone. descends into chaos as he tries to leave and everyone tries to get an autograph. That was pretty awesome. Right. Anywho, now to Islington, to Van Maid, to Q. They were easy to find. <laughs> is this, this is the normal. This is normal. And that's... Oh wow, okay. What time did you get here? Uh, about 5.15. Okay, and it's what? About to just come out to 6 now. And... Uh, I don't know. 60, 70 maybe. It's a lot of VIP. Andy, we're inside the venue. We're, you, 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 you're VIP, right? I'm VIP. I've got a normal ticket. How am I? I'm inside. How am I in? Um, divine intervention. Very divine intervention by this gentleman who uh, so had two tickets for my friend can come, but so yeah, he was selling the company to him, so I asked him if he had it or not. He can have it if I can have the money. That's, that's a fair deal. Does that's that remind you of Byzantine 2017? Very much so. It reminds me of every gig so far. <laughs> There's been a spare VIP one. But also, my girlfriend would not let me put the poster up, so you're very welcome to have it. What's your drink? A drink? Yeah. Guinness. Right. There you go. Guinness is on Andy. On me? <laughs> the excited proper sound booth then, yeah. That's that's a bad noise. So uh, yeah, that was a stroke of luck. But um, so 
we're in early. We can get a decent spot and we get straight to merch. And guys, it's, uh, it's seven o'clock. It's time for the normies to enter. Yeah. Yes, that might have been me, but <laughs> I am VIP now. I am VIP. <laughs> Oh, here they come. Here they come. Initiation question for Joe. Okay. Favourite member? Just okay. wait, does he know the names first? Oh, uh, names. Oh, we can be Yes, we'll be I don't, I can't remember. Sounds like Konami. Konami. I know. There's Misa's face. Yep. I don't know. Akane. Psyche. 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 No, it's Psyche. Psyche is like number four. No, Psyche. Psyche is the lifeblood of the band. Well, you know, Miku writes all the songs. Yeah, I know, and but you know. All the time I know. <laughs> I'm not interested in you. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, out of the way. I was going to start playing some uh, Black Sabbath. Doom, 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 doom.
Soy la Mipo. That's a sweaty man. What? That's a sweaty man. That's a, a workout. <laughs> Hello. This phone needs to get to the best that we're going to talk. Hello. Hello. To the karaoke place. Oh, I can't see. I can't even speak properly. <laughs> <laughs> right. You've left the gig. You've had your obligatory McDonald's chicken nuggets. Burger! Burger, oh, tasty. I will give you my take, okay. and that is that that was a very awesome long dig. That was the longest I think I've seen them do. That was like by, two hours. By about half an hour. Um, and it was a really good, very set list. Loads of songs I've actually not heard before. Uh, well, live. you probably, yeah, live. A good few, yeah, live. Like, um, a bunch of new songs as well, which is awesome. So uh, I highly approve, and I'm glad I came because I was genuinely worried that. It was going to be a bit samey. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I wasn't that excited going in, but coming out, yeah, I was happy as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, once again, thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> God, I'm never buying a VIP. I'm just going to look lonely in the queue and hope that some poor soul takes pity on me. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I need my phone now because we're about to go through the turnstiles. Right. It's the one, uh, I was going to say the one time it actually doesn't matter that you're taller, but it does. That's quite, that's quite a good shot though. But anyway. I'm not ready um, I've been Dan, and yes. you've been no hat. No hat, no hat, yes. And that's Andy. The expert. Uh, thank you once again for joining us on a, a London gig adventure. Uh, next one's Hyper Japan. That's in like three weeks. Uh, Necker and Amidal are playing, and they're... Amaze balls. Um, so, uh, yeah, come and join us. Thank you. Bye.